An increasing population, a decreasing police force, and a rise in crime. The Saratoga Springs Police Department had a full plate over this past weekend, the latest in a string of recent criminal incidents. Our Chris Gloninger met with the Public Safety Commissioner today to talk about what is starting to perhaps look like a crime wave in the Spa City. Chris? Dory, it's not just the police department that's worried. I spoke with residents who were here, who were born here, born and raised, and they said that they too are concerned and it's turning into a city that uh, is totally different than the city that they grew up in. Well, I think that people have to take a little bit more caution than they did years ago. When I was younger, we didn't even lock our doors. Linda Petrelli grew up in the spa city. In your lifetime, does it seem like there's been an increase in this in this city? Yes. Definitely, but the city has grown massively since I was younger, too. So big cities bring good and bad. The city rocked by two assaults in two weeks during the end of March and four burglaries over the weekend near Saratoga Lake. Any progress on these investigations, the burglaries and the woman who was mugged? There, there has been some progress, uh, and I really can't discuss that any, any further, uh, but there has been some progress on, in terms of the assault and the investigation of the assault. Uh, in terms of burglaries, yes, we're, we're, we're pursuing some, some leads. Commissioner Batisan thinks they're connected. I'm sure they were connected. The city's population is close to 30,000 people year-round, but that number is easily tripled during the summer. As the population has increased, the police force has decreased from 72 officers in 2009 to 57 currently. But that isn't all that's been cut. Fortunately, some of the proactive things that the city may have been able to do in the past uh, have been more limited. For instance, we don't have the D.A.R.E. program anymore. Um, we don't have a, a traffic division uh, or we took a number of people off the traffic division to put them in patrols. Some good news regarding the police department. Uh, Commissioner Matisse told me that they're planning on adding two more police officers, but it won't be until October. So unfortunately, the peak here in uh, in the city of Saratoga Springs, they will not have the maximum occupancy of officers. Again, though, they said it's great news. They will be adding two more to the force by the fall. For now, we are reporting live in Saratoga Springs. Chris Gloninger, CBS 6 News. All right. Thank you very much for that live report, Chris.